Well, happy Monday, ladies and gentlemen. I bet you're excited about this week. I know I am. There's a lot going on this week, and um, I think you should pay attention to the news. Um, everything that's going on this week affects your life, my life, and all of our lives. So it's important that you pay a little bit of attention. Uh, that being said, let's move on with our weekly activities. Today is Monday, the 2nd of November, and we are in session IC6. We will not be meeting as a class this week because of the NC check-ins, but you will have class this week. That means I will be putting up a video for you and you will have assignments to do and they will have due dates. I will also be available in the Google Meet if you need help with anything, um, especially if you need help getting into the NC test. So let me run down this checklist and then I'm going to go back over a few things. So first and foremost, I want you to do well on the test, but I want you to choose a new story from the practice it and it is up here on the shelf. You can see it right here. Practice it. That is the list of stories we've been working from. I want you to read a different story when you've not read before. Then you're going to watch a video called snack attack. You're going to work the modules on the shelf. Now, notice that the modules on the shelf are minimal. Learn about it, practice it, evidence of learning. Well, you know practice it is just a list of stories. Learn about it is just things for you to watch and read. And your actual activity that you will turn in is the evidence of learning. So make sure that you are doing these things. Now, um, I want to make sure that you are um, clear about how to turn in your evidence of learning. I've showed you this before. There is a submit button at the top that you need to click before you start typing and a submit button at the, bu button at the bottom that you need to click after you finish your work. That's how you turn it in. Uh, I want to point out to you that you need to read your Canvas mail every single day day. I talk to lots of you who say, oh, I don't read my mail. That's your job, ladies and gentlemen. Read your mail. There's important information in there, including assignments, announcements, things that you need to know about. And your ignorance is not an excuse for not doing things. Just because you didn't know about it doesn't mean you aren't responsible for it. When we send you that information, we expect you to pay attention and read it. So make sure you're checking your mail every day. If you have not checked your mail recently, you should have a letter from the county in there right now that talks about the NC check-ins. And there is a video that tells you how you're going to sign into the NC check-ins. And it is right here. Um, I'm not going to play it for you, you need to do that yourselves. If you open up this presentation, you can click on the link here and play it. Any of these links are accessible to you if you open up this presentation. If you try to click on it from the video, well, duh, it's not going to work. So you need to have the actual presentation. And I will put the presentation in Canvas for you. Book club, club announcement coming Wednesday. I pretty much have your book club set up. And um, we are going to start them this week, probably Thursday or Friday. Um, and I would like for you to meet with your book club people on Wednesday, if you can. That means you need to know who those people are. So with any luck, I'm going to have the time to set that up where I can give you email addresses of everyone who's in your book club. And you can email and arrange a time to meet. I expect book clubs to meet every Wednesday. And the reason I say that is because you're not all in the same class period. I did that as much as I could, but some of them didn't work out that way. And since there are no classes on Wednesdays, you're all available at any time Wednesday. So you can do it Wednesday. Wednesday's the day you'll meet. I will send out a video explaining how book clubs work um, in the next day or two. Um, remember, we're not going to meet but I am available. I will have the Google Meet room open if you need to pop in and ask me something. 
Um, not there just to socialize, although I do like talking to you and I don't mind talking to you for a little while, but we all have work to do and um, make sure that you are doing that work. You have two NC check-ins this week, ladies and gentlemen, math and reading, and you can do them in any order that you choose. If you really like math, although I don't know why, you can do your math first. And then you can do your reading on the fifth. Or if you really like reading, which you should, then you can do your reading first and do your math on the fifth. Up to you, but they have to be done. Once you start them, ladies and gentlemen, you cannot stop because if you do, it's going to make you do it over again. Or it might not let you in at all. It might just say, well, you answered three questions. You said you were done. So here's your score. So when you sit down to do your NC check-in, make sure you are in a dedicated space, not laying in bed. That is not your most productive location. Sit at a desk, at a table, someplace where you can sit quietly, where you can focus, where you can concentrate. Let your families know, I'm taking this NC check-in test. I really need to focus. So hopefully they will give you the respect that you need so that you can have a quiet area to do your best. If you have any questions about it, I will be in the room and I will be happy to help you. And good luck on the tests. I hope you all do well. Um, it's gonna be weird not seeing you this week, but um, feel free to pop in and say hi, cause you know, I like to talk to you guys a little bit. Um, and I will be sending out more videos. So remember to check your Canvas mail, check the Canvas page, Check, 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 check. You are responsible for your own learning. If you have any questions, ladies and gentlemen, I'm happy to help you. Have a great day and knock those tests out of the park.